just like a piece of clay. Okie dokie. So smoothing bits out here, let me zoom out. Uh -huh. So really we're going to change the um, the pixelation at the moment. We go to geometry, and you go divide, you see that it's got a higher resolution. If I go back again, see it's pixelated, and that's better. So you have to do that a few times depending on your computer. If it has good graphics card it should do it quite well. So here we go, now we've got more more room to play with. All them pixels can move, so see if we just make these nostrils more ugly. Yep. Everyone loves ugly nostrils. Okay. okay. It's just about building the right thing you want really. And we just uh, take some here, add some here. Really basic rubbish, big lips. <laughs> it looks like a disturbed Pac-Man at the moment. Okie dokie, just pan up here. Uh, what should I do to add a bit more detail? I'll go through the brushes soon, don't worry. Just smooth this out a bit. But you see it doesn't smooth very well because it's on high resolution. So if you make that lower, then you should be able to smooth it very easily. Just try not to ruin all your detail you've been. Alright, still there. It's smoothed how I want it. Just add a little eyeball. Make some eyebrows. Give it some freaky looking eyes. So it's it really is it's limited to your creativity and what you're using. I would suggest using a uh, tablet to make things a lot more easier. You get them very cheap nowadays anyway. I mean, I'm using a bamboo. And that's uh, quite a cheap one, 50 quid or so, depending. So now you get to see the shape of a disturbed man with a very big nose coming for a... Okay, let's go for these brushes. You know, if you press any letter, you'll see it snaps to the nearest one. So if I press, say, R, it'll snap to a rake. What's very good for using for like hair detail, so there you go, it's changed to a rake my symmetry is on, so I can just start drawing in, make it a bit bigger with the brackets and we just start drawing in a bit of hair detail there so it depends on, you know, your feel of things, you have to play with it and you'll be able to get what you want just doing this really nice and quickly as you see, you can get the base form of whatever you need. I'm doing this, I haven't made a head shape. Once you realise realize I'm doing it on a ball. But you can always change that later on very easily with the move tool, what I'll talk about later on. Okay, he's got kind of a receded hairline there. Let's add a bit more nice crazy hair. In future tutorials, I'll talk about colouring and putting photos on it and whatnot. Big lips. You can even uh, go further in detail on the eyebrows. Start adding a little bit here, a little bit there. Really, I shouldn't have went smaller. If you press space, you can get more shortcuts to do things, change it quickly, like colour and whatnot. Um, I should have kept it at the same level. Instead, I went too small. Doesn't really matter. Everything could be changed later on. It's just about what amount of time you want a bit in it, really. Just add a bit here. That's it. Jobs are good, and <laughs> yeah. So it's got some cool hair now. Uh, let's just work on the brushes. We change brush change it to the clay brush, very good for building up flesh like on that nose when I was going to make it a bird just take that away and then smooth it out so, so you can have a very good flashy feel that's the clay brush 
had a few wrinkles here. Make him a bit of an elderly gentleman. Just move it out, add a bit more detail. So you just start building, slowly, slowly you start building. And it looks crap, you just carry on going back and keep building on top of it. ZBrush is a very good uh, program for fixing up your mistakes. You see the uh, the axis has gone a bit weird, the mirroring, as you can tell. There is a way to fix that, but I'll show that in another tutorial. Just showing you the basics at the moment. You can always download this program for free. If you type it in uh, YouTube, there's plenty of good links. Quite easy as well, nothing really complicated. So if you use this one here, the clay button big, just to add some ears, very weird clay ears. <laughs> okay, we take the, yeah, just have a different view. I'll put it back on in a minute. There we go. Okie dokie. Looking really weird, just how I like it. Change the material. Change it to a skin. Nah, no, I don't like that. Uh, oh yeah, that's pretty nice. Nah. Nah. That's kind of weird. Um, let's just change it back to what it is, yeah. That's best for working with geometry. Uh, just move some of this ear detail out. We go to the lower one, like I said before. Just move some of that detail out. Pixelated, go back to the wall. Yeah, it's looking good. The nose is highly disturbed, it's going to be more disturbed in a minute. If we use one of these move tools, as you can see here, we use the move geometry. You can mess with them yourself, they're, not, they're all basically the same to the truth. Uh, but their move geometry is massive help. Really, really is. Um, go for a bigger size. Let's make this nose bigger. Why not? You know, why not? Let's do it. Okie dokie. Just click and drag. And that's a big nose for you. Just, uh, I'm going to make these nostrils a lot worse. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is self push trait here. Definitely looks like me, uh huh. My nose is a bit bigger, I think. <laughs> uh, I've made these weird, so my effort could be corrected. There's a lot of tips and tricks you can use to correct things. I'm just doing this fast for the tutorial purposes, so. Uh, If your model ends up looking like this, then you'll know you're a pro. Right, change that there. Do, do, do. So I'm just using the move tool. So you can see how easy it is when you get into it. I'm using no advanced techniques, just a few little tools. And the move tool can add a lot of detail to the face. You start changing this ball into an actual head, what's always good. Just work my nose a little bit more. There's another tool called the pinch tool. Um, if I want to make the nose a bit more pointy, you have to be careful using this one. Sometimes it can mess up the geometry. So just do that, add a bit more of a point. And it looks like a shark. Yeah, just pinch here, pinch there. That's one hell of a big nose. Okay, get uh, Move the tool again. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So I mess it up again a little bit. So you can see the tools are quite easy to use. And if you've got the package, you should uh, open it up and follow the same steps I have to see what you can create. That just makes everything perfect. So the more you do, the more you get better. Yeah, so if you hold control, what's normally the minus, and you can drag, you can drag it inwards or outwards with the move tool. So if I do it on the eyes here, so drag it in, or I could drag it out like an alien, <laughs> drag it in, yeah. 
Yeah, there we go, that adds a bit more detail. Had a bit of a cheek line as well, we should do that in a minute. Let's crack that up. Alright, so if we use the control, we get a bit of a cheek line here, cheekbones. Get a bit of a draw line. Very simple. Turn it down a bit, smooth it up. Okie dokie. Just divide it again. Still looks terrible with the nose, but doesn't really matter. Just smooth it out. Really, I should put a smaller, um, small to cheapsy thing. Yeah, I'll, in. I'll go to um, another cool tool I use quite a lot. Well, first, it's the layer tool. What? Well, will stay on one layer, so it's there one height. So uh, the only way to change that is if you go back on yourself. So here, see, it doesn't doesn't just keep adding. It's good if you want to like do a tank or something. Quick call. Now, if you overlap it, it'll go one layer higher. See. So now you've got two layers, kind of like Minecraft. Undo that. Uh, I'll show you another tool in a minute, another brush. It's one big nose. Right, go in here, change it to this one's really good for um you know making cuts to add more details called the the dam brush. Dam standard. You zoom in and do a bit of nostril work. So you could just cut into this, so it gives it a really nice effect, nice detail. Uh, the nose is messed up, but alright, ever. I'll show you on the eyes. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Just dig in some of that detail. Good on hair. If you're going to do fingernails or something like that, it works really well. So there are the ears, good to show you. Uh, just cut some of that detail out. Quite basic. See that? Mm. Do a bit of detail on these lips. So in future tutorials I'll show you how to put colour on this and uh, save it. Do um. UV mapping, it's quite simple. So if you want to save this, you can save it as a 3D model or save the project. You just go save as, save the project, export, save the 3D model if you want a different package. So that's basically it. 20 minutes, quick. Geezer Weezer. Uh, okay. So that's the basic brushes and interface. That's all you need really to get started. Uh, watch out for my new tutorials. I'll be showing more in depth how to do things. Thank you. Bye bye.